Yo, how's it going, boys and girls in other genders of the world? So today, I actually wanted to do a story time type video. I um, I don't know how you love feel about these, so uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more of these. Okay, let me just combo this guy real quick. Okay, there we go. So essentially, today, I'm going to talk about the time I uh, broke the law and I didn't know it. <laughs> so yeah, already incriminating myself on YouTube. Um, uh, let's go. But not for real. I didn't actually know that I broke the, the law. Actually, like a few days later, like after my mom told me. So this was around the time I was going to Sweden. And Sweden, you know, like us Norwegians, we kind of go there to fucking buy candy. We go there to buy like soda. We go there to buy like food because food there is like cheaper, you know? British pug, like, yo, you wanna, you wanna go, bro? Uh, British pug. Oh god, my Jedi clicking is so bad. Okay, he's an OP Grandmaster, Tesseract. I'm looking at you, bro. So essentially, I we were going to Sweden, you know. I was driving all the way to Sweden myself or with my mom and with her boyfriend. It was such a long drive as well. Like each way was like almost two hours. Like it was it was gonna take two hours home and two hours to that. I'm making story time when I was creamy now. <laughs> well, so essentially I was driving all the way to Sweden and everything and uh, it was calm, you know, like I was a bit nervous because it was the first time I ever driven in the dark. And keep in mind, this was only like, this was like, what, like almost a year ago now? This was around the time, uh, um, like I haven't been driving for too long. So I was, I was a bit of a noob. I was a bit of a newbie already, so we didn't think of this afterwards because we were like we were stopped by the police and everything because we had to um because at the time there was it was like almost what peak COVID or some shit. I'm setting myself on fire. It was like peak COVID, so like if you had to uh if you were going to leave the country, you would need proof of you getting vaccinated. Well, this proof you needed was basically like a vaccine card, pretty much. So you needed like a card online or whatever, and then you needed to show that to the toll police or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure what the actual word for it is. That's that's I think it's the toll or whatever, right? Oh, uh, uh, oh my god! Why is my dog okay? My dog is here. Right. After we were going home, we were at the shop for like well a few hours or some shit. We weren't there for that long. We were going home, you know. Like I was still driving at this point because I don't know. I wanted like some practice to drive like long sessions and everything because that's very important to learn how to drive and stuff. And well, essentially, uh, we didn't quite think of this, but like as we were going out of the country of Sweden, you know, like the Swedish country. I I should have known this to be fair. I should have known this, but like my mom also didn't really think about this. But I'm not allowed to practice drive in Sweden. That is very, very illegal. Um, <laughs> I am not allowed, as a Norwegian citizen, I am not allowed to practice drive in another country that I have not documented in. So, well, we were stopped by the police, you know, we, we were going to, like, I was going to show my vaccine card and whatnot. But the thing is, right, for whatever reason, it was looking just more and more sus for us, bro. Like, we were just looking more and more suspicious, bro. Like, uh, for one, my vaccine card didn't register for some reason. It didn't register that I was fully vaccinated, which I was. So, uh, at this point, I've been driving illegally in Sweden, and I don't even have proof of me being vaccinated to be in the country. <laughs> like, it was not looking good at this point. It was, it really just wasn't looking good. So rightfully so, we were stopped by the police. We were pulled over and uh, we were we had to talk to this guy. He was a really cool guy. I'm not going to lie. He was a really chill guy. Like, I honestly, like really chill cop. He wasn't like making a big fuss out of it. Like he was just say like, okay, all right, all right, let's just Let's just sort this out, you know? And I tried to show my vaccine card and whatnot. For whatever reason, the, the system had like a malfunction or whatever. Like, it just didn't show up that I was vaccinated, even though I 100% was. But then, like, my mom starts talking, you know? And, you know, your mother starts talking. What do you do? You can't really, like, interrupt her, you know? Like, you just let your mother talk, you know? My mom just says the most sus thing I think I've ever heard. Like, she just randomly starts saying, like, Oh, yeah, I was with him when this happened. And, like... I'm a nurse. And it's not like she was not saying the truth. She what? She is a nurse. It's just the fact that I've just driven in Sweden illegally and I'm failing to show proof that I'm vaccinated. Plus the fact that my mom is just saying that she's a nurse out of nowhere. Do you see how sus this sounds already? Like, we sound like the fucking criminals, dude. The police guy, he was just saying like, um, he... <laughs> rightfully so, he was just saying like, oh... D do you think I'll believe that? <laughs> so, you know, at this point, I wasn't really trying to say much because it wasn't that far into my uh, my driving lessons, things and whatever. I didn't really want to lose my chance to, be, to ever 
to drive again. I was a bit scared, I'm not gonna lie, because at this point, we, we literally have broken the law. <laughs> and like, I remember as well, while we were shopping for like, like we were in Sweden and whatever, right? Technically, the, the cops are actually supposed to check your car and everything. But for whatever reason, like, this guy didn't. I don't know why he didn't check our car, but, like, if he did check our car... If he did check our car, then, uh, yeah, it would have been just game over. Because, um, at the store, my mom's boyfriend and her, for, for that sake, they, they were splitting or whatever. They, they were, like, buying one bottle each. Well, essentially, they, uh, they brought, I, th I think it was, like, two bottles of, like, fucking whiskey or some shit. I'm, I'm not too sure what it was, but, like, they were, like, huge bottles. They were, like... 750 milliliters each right so we had two of those in my car when you are leaving sweden and when you're leaving a country you're not allowed to bring i don't know how much alcohol but you're not allowed to bring under like a liter of alcohol and if you do the math you know that 750 milliliters plus another 750 milliliters is way more than one liter <laughs> so if we <laughs> if we if this guy searched our car, or my car, right, and found out that we were pretty much smuggling alcohol, <laughs> smuggling alcohol in my car, in a car that doesn't even have proof that is vaccinated, saying the most BS thing, that's saying like the mother is a nurse, and we have illegally, we have illegally driven in Sweden. Thankfully, like the, the cop was super nice. He was he was really cool about the entire thing. Right. It took actually quite a while to like get in terms and everything because like essentially it's a cop. You know, he just has to do his job. You know, after like what thirty minutes or something or forty five minutes, it took a while. He he pretty much just uh, let us let us go, and we took took the ride home, and I took the ride home because I was in. I was in my country for the, you know, so I could, I could legally drive, so. Yeah, so that was the story of how I literally illegally drove into Sweden, how I pretty much was a part of a smuggle of alcohol. That was fun, yeah, that was very fun. <laughs> I, I, that was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this story time type video, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a splendid day. Peace.